UFC Heavyweight Showdown. denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great teams. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 123 pounds. Shut down. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that man, DC. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice punch by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, nice right oh, hand. Nice head kick. Liver kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, and he 
tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Lee's shot is blocked. Big head kick land. Fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay in the court. He mixed it up. He went high with the stuff and then low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. Second round, straight ahead. Stop. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Nice job. I thought you were going to knock him out of the octagon. This round, I need you to push him He knows you're going to come on, so he's going to be ready. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. That right hand hurt him a little bit. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness even be on his feet right now. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Put your hands up higher. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Lands flush with that right hand. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Nice knee to the midsection there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. And he caught the kick. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Big kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. And he continues to work the body here. Really timing his shots nicely. Good. Ooh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh. He's out. Wow. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And 
That's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. He's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after.